Um, if you are at home and stuck with your kid, you might as well do something fun and educational with them. So what I've done here is put together a super, super fun science demonstration that is safe to do at home with your kids. And hopefully all these ingredients you already have in your pantry or your craft drawer or something like that, um, because I don't know about you, but I get maxed out on screen time. So I think it's really fun to do something kinesthetic with your hands. And if you can learn something while you're doing it, you might as well have fun too, right? Okay, so this is called the bubble snake. And I'm gonna explain first the ingredients and then give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. So first things first is you need to get a small plastic soda bottle or a water bottle. Um, I have these little ones in my garage because I use them when I breathe fire, but the bigger soda bottles or water bottles work just as well because what you're gonna do with it is actually just cut off so you have the top part of it, but I'll get there in just a second. So any size bottle will do. You need food coloring. I prefer the reds and the pinks when I'm doing this outside, but because I'm doing it on a camera, I'm going to use my greens and blues for you. You're going to need a half a cup of water, a quarter cup of dish soap, a bowl to mix your dish soap and water, a spoon, one rubber band, and then an old rag. You can use a sock, you can use a rag, you could use a towel, pretty much anything, a t-shirt, anything will really work for this. Uh, you just don't want something that's super, super porous. Okay, you're super thick. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your plastic soda bottle or water bottle and you're gonna cut off the bottom part. You only want the top portion of your soda bottle. Okay, so a perfect one is gonna look, oops, throwing my rubber band. Perfect one is gonna look like this. You're gonna see your top part here and then it's cut off right there at the edge. Then what you're gonna do is take your old rag and you're gonna wrap it around the edge of your soda bottle. So that's where your rubber band comes into play. So you're gonna wrap the rubber band around your towel, just like this, two or three times should be absolutely plenty. You just wanna make sure that that towel sticks on here. I did this once and the rubber band snapped and the stuff fell all over this actor's head because I was doing it on camera. It was an awesome day, but the poor guy was covered in food coloring. Okay, once you have this, you're gonna put it off to the side and we're gonna build our little concoction over here. So in your bowl, you need to have a quarter cup of dish soap. Any bubbles will do. Bubble bath will work if you're keeping your dish soap around for quarantine time, which I totally understand. Then you've got a half a cup of water, so you're going to add that into your dish soap. Now you want to make sure that you stir this together. Okay, so completely stir. And I would stir for at least like 10 or 15 seconds. I'm not going to do that for you here, but make sure you stir for a long time because you want to make sure that your solution is super bubbly. Uh, you don't want to dip your, your bubble snake apparatus into just water. You want to make sure you have that soap as well. Okay, so then you're going to take this, flip it upside down so that your towel is exposed, and then grab your food coloring. Now the goal is to cover your entire patch down here, the whole piece on this side, cover the entire thing with your food coloring. Um, I like to do stripes and zigzags and patterns with all types of different colors, but just for the sake of time today, I'm just gonna use a big green blob. Not super attractive, but it will <laughs> work for our purpose here. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move my soap out of the way for a second here. Now the fun part, you're gonna take your apparatus. Now you're gonna dunk it food coloring side down into your dish soap water bowl. When you pick it up, let it drain. You're going to see that the food coloring comes off totally normal, um, but if you're type A like me and you don't like lots of messes, let it drain into the bowl. Now for the fun part, once it stops draining, you're going to go from it to the side, take a deep breath, and and you blow and you make this incredible bubble snake and so what you're doing is you're exhaling all of this gas that's in your lungs out so those nitrogen molecules oxygen carbon dioxide even some water in here if you can go outside but stay you know within your little area six feet away from everybody you can let the wind actually carry this bubble snake around and it is so fun i love 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 it um so what i love about this experiment is it's something you can do at home with your kids it is completely safe there's nothing here that's dangerous at all no explosions or fire or anything but you're outside you're engaged you're having a good time some family time but you're learning as well so the kids might probably might ask you what are the molecules that are in your exhale and you can talk about how you exhale carbon dioxide and oxygen and nitrogen and I just think it's so fun to spend some time with the family and do some science as well so if you're looking for other experiments you can check out my big book of experiments which has 25 experiments that you can do with things that are at home hopefully in your kitchen right now Get smarter faster with new videos every week from the world's biggest thinkers.